This is a man from the Philippines Coast Guard cutting a floating barrier that was put up by the Chinese government to illegally claim vast areas of the sea that belong to the Philippines. And these are grab hags, stealing all of the toilet paper from a public toilet. What do these two seemingly different things have to do with each other? Well, we're about to find out, and it's all happening in the South China Sea. Strange things are afoot in the seas around China and the world. And China's doing some ridiculously cringeworthy stunts, as per usual. It's really such a strange phenomenon for me. For years, China's massive illegal flotillas have been stripping the sea bare of any and all sea life. Think of grab hags, but on the sea. I mean, talk about the worst group of high sea bandits imaginable. Grab hags sailing the seven seas, engaging in wanton destruction and grab haggery. Did I ever mention just how much I dislike grab hags? I mean, have you ever wondered why there's no toilet paper in the public bathrooms in China? Well, grab hags are the answer. I mean, look at this grab hag, for instance, just grabbing all of the toilet paper out of the dispensary. And yeah, I mean, it's because it's free. There's no reason. She doesn't need to stockpile this stuff. It's very cheap and inexpensive, and in fact, a lot of businesses give away tissues in China, but because it's free, she'll grab it, and that's the grab hag mentality. That's what we're up against. Anyway, before we continue talking about the grab hags of the sea, a quick word from today's sponsor. We all know X to make amazing wallets, but they've come out with a bag now. A bag that's specifically designed for people who love to live on the grid and off the grid. This is for all your tech. So the most high-tech equipment has got pockets, it's got spaces, it's got modularity. You can get a tech case for all your tech bits and a camera cube for your, well, camera and lenses. It's got places for your laptops and your gadgets and everything you can think of, as well as being able to charge up your devices if you get the optional battery pack. The quality lives up to Exeter's fantastic standards. And as somebody who carries a lot of cameras and things around when I go traveling, I find it incredibly useful. It's made out of recycled PET and water resistant 600D materials, and as you can see, has a full 180 degree frontal opening, which is great for loading all your essential nonsense. The grid backpack also has loads of internal and external storage, like a hidden RFID pocket and elastic water bottle pocket and compression straps to attach external gear. It's super comfortable with lower back support, and of course, it's all TSA approved. Check it out. Go to shop.exeter.com forward slash Winston and use the code Winston to get 20% off. And now, back to the show. These fishing mobs strip the sea indiscriminately, regardless of whether or not certain species are endangered or overfished, and yet... For some reason, the international community gives these seaborne grab hags a pass. Even though they keep raiding the seas around the Galapagos and wiping out protected species and habitats. Go figure. Grab hags aside, we have to talk about two interesting naval goings on happening in the Far East right now. You know that China banned all seafood from Japan recently, right? You know their reasoning was the release of tritium contaminated water from the Fukushima disaster? I mean, Okay, although it's absolute nonsense since Chinese reactors release in order of magnitudes more contaminated water into the ocean in a single year than the Fukushima release ever will. Besides this glaring hypocrisy, let's just say that they legitimately think that the water around Japan is unsafe and were genuinely banning the seafood out of concern for the Chinese population. Well, then why, pray tell, are they banning seafood from that specific area only if it's caught by Japanese fishing boats, but allowing Chinese fishing vessels to fish in the exact same waters and allowing the fish from the Chinese vessels to be sold and consumed in China? I mean, it's pretty obvious that the whole Japanese contaminated fish water nonsense was just a way for the government to whip the populace into a frenzy of nationalist craziness to distract from all the awful things happening in China right now. You know, from the failing economy to the real estate crisis, the flooding, the list goes on. Next, let's talk about this ridiculous situation in the Philippines. So, China suddenly released a new national map, which out of the blue claimed even more of the South China Sea. 
I mean, we all know about the nine dash line and China's crazy claims that this stuff all belongs to them because of some or other ancient map. But let's face it, China is an imperialist power that is trying to expand by claiming new lands and parts of the ocean which they arbitrarily claim as their own, even though international courts have found otherwise. So usually, it's a case of the Chinese Coast Guard harassing Vietnamese or Filipino fishing vessels that are simply trying to fish in their own waters, sometimes hitting them with water cannons, ramming ships, you know, that sort of thing. But now, they've taken it a step further. And in the seas around the Philippines, they're erecting floating barriers to try and keep the Filipino fishing vessels out. Of course, this is nonsense, and the Filipino Coast Guards have started removing these floating fences. Now, I'm not here to just tell you about funny news that happens somewhere, uh, something to do with China. I've actually been there. I've been to the fishing ports around China. I've seen how it operates, and it's an incredibly effective but terrible machine. The fishing fleets go out there and they know what they're doing. They know exactly how to get the most amount of fish and sea life out of the sea in the least sustainable manner ever. It's something that really affects us all. And I know not many people are paying attention to this side of the world, but these fishing fleets in China's naughty antics in the ocean affect us all. They honestly do decimate the seas around South America and Africa, and there's absolutely nowhere that they will not go. And there's a reason why they're going so far afield. It's because they've decimated and completely stripped the oceans of all sea life around China. So they have to keep going further and further until there'll be nothing left. And everybody will just have to, I don't know, eat squid or jellyfish or something like that. I hope that my video can raise a little bit of awareness about these maritime grab hags and their salty seafaring antics because, guys, when you've seen it, when you've lived it, you see this incredible barrier that exists between China and the rest of the world. Not only are we talking about a language barrier that prevents people from actually knowing what the plans are, what's happening, what the Chinese government's putting out there, what the, the local population are talking about, the trends and that sort of thing, but there's a massive cultural barrier too. In fact, by now, I would hope everybody realizes that the insatiable demand for Chinese traditional medicine has led to the extinction or near extinction of many species around the world. And it's a very unscrupulous sort of uh, industry. They don't really care. In fact, the rarer the animal becomes, the more expensive the, the part of the animal that's used for TCM becomes. And so they actually want these creatures to become more and more extinct, the unscrupulous dealers in, in traditional Chinese medicine anyway. So we need to wake up and stop giving China a free pass. If you at all care about, you know, the environment and you're in, into any kind of ecological activism or anything like that, please stop focusing on countries and places that already have a lot of checks and balances in place. Please start looking at China, where the least amount of checks and balances are in place. They are the country that right now can do the most damage to the ecology and to the ocean. And I think it bears your consideration. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Don't forget that I have a Friday show, a live show, which we talk about uh, the latest news coming out of China and everything in between. It's a lot of fun. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Please check it out. And of course, unlike these salty seafaring grab hags, stay awesome.